What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. I want to talk about CarPlay iOS. This is one of the first, if not the first, CarPlay app that we've seen on Cydia thus far. Now, that being said, Adam Bell, who is known for making tweaks like Stride, is working on his own CarPlay app as well, and that should be coming sometime down the line. But for now, this one is the, uh, it has the designation of being the first one on the Cydia store. And what it does is it basically allows you to view the CarPlay interface directly from iOS. So you don't need to be um, using an external display like in a head unit in a car, but you can actually use the CarPlay interface or at least a part of the CarPlay interface uh, directly from your iOS device. So you see here, there are basically two apps. You have the music app, which is right here. Um, and then you also have the now playing app. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now you'll notice there's a very minimal interface here. You have basically the time and you have a home button down here in the bottom left hand corner, which will take you back to the main display, which is this. And then you have your two apps. So your music app, you hit the home button, your now playing app will show you whatever's playing currently. Um, you can, of course, pause and play that using the uh, buttons there. Uh, but right now, it's very, very rudimentary. I mean, there's not a lot here. There's just the music app and the now playing app. And it does crash a lot when you go into certain uh, tabs. For instance, if I want to go into artists, it crashes. <laughs> the only thing you can really do is just uh, view a couple of the, the uh, playlist sections that I have here under lists. And it's all in French right now, which is another thing. But, you know, ultimately... That doesn't matter as far as this demonstration is concerned. Uh, the real exciting thing about this is the fact that you'll have this nice display that can be used, for instance, in a car. So you don't even have to, in theory, uh, you don't even have to replace your head unit. What you could do, in theory, is to basically mount your iPhone or your iPad directly in your car, and then you have the benefit of having the, the CarPlay interface uh, without having to buy an expensive head unit. Now that kind of, I guess, sort of defeats the purpose of having that nice head unit already mounted in your car, uh, properly mounted, properly um, installed in your car. Uh, but if you don't want to shell out the money for those expensive head units and they can run between 500 up to $1,000, uh, then this is a good alternative. It gives you a nice big icons. It's a perfect uh, size for uh, navigating and um and you know, working inside your car without having to be too distracted. And hopefully the Siri integration, which is really the big feature of CarPlay, will eventually be uh, found in here as well. So it's a, it's a definite step in the right direction. Not all the, all the way there just yet, but a definite step in the right direction. And I think, especially if Adam Bell's working on this, who is a very well-known developer, then uh, we're going to see some strides made with CarPlay iOS. Now, if you want to try CarPlay iOS, you head over to City as Big Boss Repo. You can download it free of charge. This preview has two apps, the music app and the now playing app, and it's all in French, so keep that in mind. But if you want a, a preview or a snapshot of what CarPlay will look like on your iOS device, then this is the tweak to try. It's absolutely free. Folks, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.